Hi, um, I'll be talking about pollinator attractiveness um, increasing the distance from flowering orchids. Orchids are a huge family of flowering plants which have complex and incredibly specific pollination strategies. These strategies include sexual mimicry of both chemical and physiological features and gustatory rewards, which is basically nectar, both real and illusion illusionary. Um, illusionary gustatory reward rewards would be producing scent but no nectar. The paper I have chosen examines the impact of orchid sexual mimicry on Neozabora cryptoides wasp pollinators. The orchids Chyloglottis tra trapeziformis use both physiological mimicry, um, the shape of the flowers, um, that of a female wasp, as well as chemical duplicity in the form of an alimone which directly duplicates the female sex pheromone. Alimones are um, chemicals produced by plants which, res which resemble that of another species' um, fe sexual pheromones, and it's a form of sexual mimicry. Um, experiments carried out by Bob Wong, Ch uh, Charlotte Salzman, Florin Sh and Florin Schiesel identify a dissonance effect in female fertilization of wasps in areas with high numbers of orchids. The effects the, this effect results in changed behavioural patterns on the part of the female wasps who emerge in these areas. They literally have to walk out of the areas to find areas with fewer orchids so they can have an increased rate of um, successful mating. The experimental design um, of the paper that I looked at was simple. An area of forested land adjacent to Canberra was selected at the trial, as the trial site, with the trial occurring between September and October. As no orchids were found naturalised to the area, flowering orchids were introduced at the rate of four per colony, um, with new flowers being added one, at one every two minutes during the test period. Um, the wasp subjects were found in abundance. <coughs> um, to simulate female wasps, a black bead was used and was impregnated with sexual pheromones at a rate consistent with that found on live female wasps. Flower groups were left in situ for two hours before commencement of testing with the dummy females, and tests were carried out um, at 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 metres from the colony. The results um, were interesting. Um, visitation by male wasps to the orchid colonies dropped um, as a product of both number of flowers added and time. This is a, habitation, uh, a habituation effect. Um, and it has been suggested that this is due to the lack of reward given by the flowers and habituation on, on the part of the male wasps. The, attractive, uh, the attractiveness of the pheromone impregnated bead, however, rose as a product of distance from the centre of the colony, um, with highest rates of, of attempted copulation found at the 8 metre mark, at which point attempted copulation reached the same levels as with freshly placed orchids. Significantly, there was no increase in male visitation when the impregnated bead was placed within the orchid colony. This adds credence to the notion that the alimone produced by the orchid is indistinguishable from the pheromone produced by the wasp. Thanks.